I absolutely look at the smiles on their faces. Oh, even on the silent dials, Jackie. Oh, he's such a sweetie, isn't he? We I will him. say, dials are known for being. get opened now and Astro has something else to worry about. Yeah, he's got a lot to worry about as he's pushed back even further with more hard breach going out. Reach the, the third highest ranked player at this event from stage three performance. He is a machine. But it is Souls who finds the opening, opening pick and Reefs goes down. He was lit from earlier and now he's put into a spot of bother. Difficult position now for Direwolves. They found their first kill, but it was traded back. And uh, well, delivers on what was promised, but it's not without significant disruption to Direwolves' attack. That was some really strong micro from Reaps. He knew that he was going to take the two-on-one fight there from uh, going inside of Terrace and going into Drum. So he threw a nade in, in advance. Make sure you clear one angle, and that's the one inside of Terrace, and then go in and fight the Drum player. And that's some excellent team. Uh, that's some excellent individual play on the side of Reaps. Now Jackie Wu has pivoted over oh to gosh. this Raquel instead, but he's going to fall short to his lines of sight that we spoke about earlier, ED. Now in a bit of a tussle with the player behind the bar. That's Cyber, who's actually going to go for a run out through that rotate and take him down. Wow, great stuff here from Faith. He is taken down quite promptly by Cyber, protected by the position of that Kiba barrier. Pika can't see through that smoke very well. This has been moving too much. And this is not looking ideal here for Direwolves. But look at what Direwolves are trying to do. They've identified that Phase are all off the site, aside from Cyber. So if they can start to surround him like Vultures, is exactly what Jackie Wu is starting to do, coming from this little uh, pillbox entry, then they can maybe get a grip on the site. The, the bomb is... The diffuser is in the bomb site at the moment. The take down Souls. That's the player inside of Shrine himself. And suddenly they have one less power position to deal with. Yeah, Cameraman's getting aggressive now, where his former teammate had died. The shield has been dispatched. And he's going to burn his smokes to try and delay time. A dangerous game for FaZe. They decided not to contest the other side of the map, and now time is against them. Reaps once again using those nays to try and make an in for himself, while Bullet has a C4 prepped from below. That's the drum entry just above. And so Reaps is going to have to make this entry real swift if he wants to get in there safe. Oh, but a second pick now for Direwolves. And it turns out Tea Room Karaoke is not the play either. Oh, and Pika as well is just repelled into the bombsite reefs, take down a camera, oh but all of a sudden gosh. it's a five on one. Pika, the playmaker for the Direwolves, making his way into karaoke. Just bullet left now. I mean, he has no C4. He's got some info. He might go for a vert with the shoddy, but nah, it's not going to work. Detonates a C4 for sound cover elsewhere. Makes his way up the back stairs. That flashbang's going to make it very difficult, and surely. This is going to be a flawless This is going to be. You've got the Selmers of ED, and you've also got Jackie Wu on the Hibana. Now, bringing the range hard reach into the setup the phase doing, I think, is the right play. Because of how aggressive the lines of sight are for phase, everywhere you walk around, you're not going to get an exothermic charge on wall. That is very dangerous. Cyber is going to be the first one to contest his entry in the ground floor. Not only that, but Direwolves aren't going for the sweep anymore. Sneak then his way into Geisha, anticipating a cutoff from the side of Drum. It's a little bit dicey for Direwolves. We've got players in between each and every phase clan player, but no gunfights to be met just yet. Oh, it's messy because there's so much map control still for phase. Reeks making his way down. Oh, if he gets close enough, he might be able to find a player, but he might make enough noise for one of the opponents to hear. Here's Bullet, though, and Astro. Working together may well keep Reeks at bay on this top floor. It's a tough angle to contest the one that we see Astro holding right now, but that Dockerby reveals his position. He doesn't care, he's going to peek it anyway. In the absence of frags, Souls is there to break the spell with power positions. Or more focused in around that drum side. Yeah, there we go, around that drum side, around that shrine side area. This part of the top of the main stairs, this cannot be vert pulled out. It's only the player inside of the bomb site that might be in a bit of a stuff, uh, in a bit of a couple. Oh no, cameraman. He just misses that opportunity, but fortunately, Cyber comes up from the stairs and finds two. Uh, and oh, what was going on with me? The MPX. Wow, that was a bit of a tongue twister. Still holding on to their Jackie, we was getting aggressive onto the exhibition jump out too, but they're going to keep holding their ground. What a rough position for Dials to find themselves in.
FAs are circling around this bomb site, looking like they may well just go for another direct attack. You can see almost all of their players are here. Bullet on the roof and Cyber off uh, on the other side of the map somewhere, likely trying to work a bit of a lurk. But FaZe are given so much information on where these players are. And Cyber may be able to do some serious damage here. Opens up with the bark and takes down Reaps. What reaction time. And Astro's going to suppress any aggression ideas that Die Wolves might have. It's going to be over before it starts, I think, Mandy. Just two players left from Die Wolves, but good shooting from Jackie Wu might keep them in. And here's ED as well. He's the last one left in a 1v3. Souls down on the ground. And Cyber just so low HP. Edia does a bit of damage, but Astro is keen to swing him. Edie has that diffuser down on the ground. 